Hey YouTube, so while we were um, staying at uh, Arrowhead Campground, we decided to go over to Baden Lake. It is the sister campground in Uari, um, another national park campground. We've been in this campground before. We've never actually camped in this campground before, but we have used like the showers and the facilities and all that kind of stuff. Um, last year, um, what had happened was um, the water basically died at the campground that we were at Arrowhead and they basically evacuated um, the campground and sent everybody over here um, and uh, yeah that wasn't too fun but anyway um, so we do have a little bit of experience um, over in this campground we've had friends that have stayed in this campground there is this like really really long drive um, it's not terribly long I don't know mile or whatever um, between the sign that you just saw to Baden Lake and the actual entrance to um, where you can actually see the campsites um, the nice thing about Baden Lake is it is on the lake, so a lot of the sites you'll see um, are actually lakeside, which is really, really cool um, because you have this fantastic um, look. There are two loops, um, as I call them, um, at this campground. There is the upper loop and the lower loop. When we do this review, um, the upper loop was closed, um, but we've been up on the upper loop, like I said. Um, the upper loop is typically just tent sites. Um, typically, you do not put campers like in the upper loop. And then the, the lower site, um, you can put campers in them if you really want, but typically the RV people um, don't come over to this campground, typically they stay over at Arrowhead. So the left there, that would be the road to the upper loop. The upper loop also is not on the lake side. Um, the right, um, the lower loop is a more um, interesting loop. So the reason why the RVers don't come over here is because there's no hookups whatsoever. There's no um, sewer, there's no water, there's no electricity. It is just total primitive camping. Um, but the nice thing is you are on the lake. So, you know, if you want to view the lake um, and, you know, you have all the stuff you need to, to boondock, then maybe you'll come over here and boondock. Um, however, most of the people go to the other side, go to Arrowhead where we are at, and they get water and uh, at the dump station because there's like a water hose there, um, and then they uh, they use electricity and then they dump and they leave. Um, and as you can see, um, on the right there's a uh, pull through site. Um, they have pull through sites that are pretty damn big. Um, they have back end sites. There's a lake right there. There are people that are that are camping over here, um, but Arrowhead was 100% full when we were there. For Thanksgiving so most likely these people um, were a little bit upset that they probably couldn't camp over at Arrowhead and they were camping over here is, is kind of my guess mm -hmm. it is you know awesome that it is on the um, the lake like you can see and the sites are, are humongous um, we just passed one of the restrooms the restrooms are kind of tiny but they're very very clean very very nice um, there is a sign on the restroom door, I forgot what, um, what the price was, but there's a price that they want you to pay every time you take a shower if you're not camping in this campsite and you came over here for some reason, like let's say you were camping in the wilderness and then you wanted to come over to the national park to take a shower. Um, there's like a small fee that you pay the rancher um, to use the facilities, it's a couple dollars, so not really that, um, that big of a deal. And uh, there's a bathhouse right there. That's what it, that's what they look like. They're like I said, they're pretty small. And that's the second one. There was another one that we passed that looked just exactly like that one. And uh, they're pretty well distributed. Um, it's not too big of a walk to um, from almost anywhere in the campsite to get to one of those restrooms. And you can see the size of these sites. Um, there's a uh, like a half ton or three quarter ton with a pretty uh, good sized trailer with uh, you know UTV and obviously URI is a national park that has a lot of um, OHV trails for uh, Jeeps and side-by-sides and ATVs and everything motorcycles so because of that uh, this particular national park has a, a much bigger attraction to the um, off-road community the other thing is, is since this park is located in North Carolina there is not really a whole lot nearby other than this park to, um, that is like off-road kind of worthy there's Winrock Park in Tennessee, and then there's Pennsylvania where we go all the time. So I'm going to jump over to the group site. They do have group sites. So um, you basically just go past the sign and you make a right turn instead of making that left turn to uh, the main part of the campground. And I'm not going to go like in super close to this group site because we didn't reserve and there's really people that were using it. Um, but the group site, as you can see, is like a group site and you know multiple people can stay there. They have temp pads and stuff that are like all close together and side by side. See there's another restroom. 
And then on the left, you know, this is an example of like what a group site looks like. And you saw that like it had um, the different tent pa pads, so then you can uh, have um, multiple uh, tents all together on the same site. Most and at URI, um, most of the um, tent-only sites are just like that. Um, you can't take your vehicle on them, so you're packing your stuff like out of your vehicle, like onto the tent site. Um, so if you want to be able to camp and be able to put your vehicle right up to it, you probably want to get a, like a trailer site and then just put like your uh, your tent there. So hopefully this quick review um, helps out. Please like and uh, subscribe. Thank you.